I'm going to remove the check valve so, so we can get more foam flowing. All right, so now I, re I remove the check valve so we can have some more flow through there because uh, the foam is actually backing up at the valve. But like I said in the last video, we're going to have a anti-foaming agent in the future, so that probably won't be an issue anyway. It's still good to have this uh, the, the neutralizer. Because you don't you don't want any electrolyte in your gas stream, you know. I'm sure it damages engines because uh, I do mostly the torch thing, and uh, it's definitely it definitely probably has a bad effect on a torch too. But you can see the condensation also getting trapped here too. This is a good design. I like this design. Try to wait for some more foam. See, I mean, this cell is out of foam. It's fairly clean. This isn't like high grade stainless steel in there. That's, uh, some of the plates are 304. Some of them, I think, are 302. It says 302 on there. I don't know if that means it's 302 steel or if that's a serial, serial number. But, uh, most of them are 304 steel. I know that for sure. But this, this, uh, this cell is made out of. You know, it's an old school switch plate cell. So I don't expect much out of it, but it's 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 producing, you know. I'll show you the current draw. About one point one nine amps. One point two amps. That's cold. This thing will peak at about two, 2.3 amps and, and it won't budge. It doesn't really get warm either. This thing is not even warm. It's room temperature. Let's get some close-in shots. See, I mean, th these barbs are just wedged in there. You know, like I said, this is a prototype, so... See the back side of the cell. But this cell's been running pretty clean. I mean there's a little bit of sediment, but this is the first this is the first real run of uh electrolytes. So this cell is still in the conditioning phase for the most part. See that foam coming down there? See? Then it gets neutralized. Follow that little piece. All right. Down to the vinegar and gone. That one didn't make it. It's good to have it go up a distance too before it comes down. Now, I mean, this is a this is a low producer. I mean, you're looking at maybe a liter a minute max there. So for four, like a four LPM cell. Uh, to have that effect where it doesn't make it up the tube, you probably want half inch tube to increase that effect of having it drop. I mean, this is quarter inch tube. Quarter inch tube, you can get <laughs> 10, 20 liters a minute through a quarter inch tube. Uh, of course, we make flashback arrestors for quarter inch, three eighth inch, and half inch. And they don't use any bronze wool, by the way. So. Anyone interested in those, just so you know, our arresters are 100% plastic. All right, that's it. PVC, nylon, but there's no there's no metals in here. <coughs> See my injured thumb. This is what happens when you're not careful with a drill, by the way. So. Anyway, I think you get the idea. Hopefully, we'll be selling uh, something like this 
uh, maybe maybe some somewhat different design. Maybe we'll have a stand. Like you know, this is all just rigged up there. You know, I haven't tested it for flashbacks, but uh, <coughs> from what I've seen of other videos, this design can take a shitload of flashbacks. So you're good there, and it holds up. The water's clean. Good design. All right, just one more thing. Uh, been running this thing for about ten minutes since the last uh, flush of the dirty, the dirty neutralizer and water, and you can see this water is still nice and clean. All right, so no foam or any kind of gook has made it past the neutralizer, aka the tube of vinegar. Okay. And um, you can see this. This is a little murky here, but your uh, your bubble of water is nice and clean, right? And you also notice that the level of the vinegar has risen a little bit. That's because some of the foam has come up and dropped into here and added to the volume of liquid. All right, so. That's going to require some maintenance, so I'm going to have to uh, figure out a way to maintain levels here. Might have to go to a wider tube, but still a great idea to have a neutralizer, either full of vinegar or I think you can use acetone, but it's an invaluable thing. <laughs>